Welcome to episode 1133 of Love Serve Care. Today's episode, I want to talk to you about being creative while you compete. This insight came to me from over the weekend. My family and I, we went to a movie theater locally, and it was a celebration for the 20 year anniversary of the movie Elf with Will Ferrell. And feels weird to say that like 20 years really yeah it's been 20 years look at the timeline it's it's been that long you've probably seen it 20 times if you're like us and one of the things that happened in the theater was this it was more of a movie party typically movies are supposed to be quiet this and that but they allowed us to be engaged and have some fun sing along all those kinds of things And right before the movie started, there was a contest for earning two movie tickets. And the the premise of it was one adult, you know, one parent and one kid come up. And there were three boxes set up. One lady with her son was up. I was up with Jules and Sarah got picked to go up with AJ. And the contest went like this. We had one minute to wrap up a box creatively as possible so the time went and i was doing my best to be creative so i decided to start rapping while me and was trying to wrap up this box in one minute ultimately i didn't win neither did sarah the lady and her son won she wound up taping him wrapping him up in the wrapping paper with the box across his chest so the audience gave them the biggest cheers so they wound up winning but in the end it was it was super fun it was super entertaining right it was something lighthearted to kind of do to to kick the movie off and it didn't really matter that we didn't win i figured hey you know the four of us are up there the odds are in our favor but this lady came through (laughs) with the, the clutch But at the end of the day, got to have some fun being creative and competing. Now, this is a a simple gift wrapping story. You're in business. You are in somewhat of a dogfight. Your competitors out there are doing their thing. And and I don't want you to get caught up in comparing yourself and feeling down. But think to yourself, man, how can I have some fun? How can I get creative with how I show up on the field, the possibility, how I show up in service to my clients and to my network and for my team? That will ultimately be what's most important about how you succeed and when you do succeed. So all that said and done, remember that you're born to live your life in abundance. You're the master of your future. You control your freedom and you have complete dominance of your thoughts, your emotions and your habits. Take care. God bless. Stay blessed.